Setting up a project in Cubasis is really quite easy. The first thing you'll want to do is set a BPM, and you can do that by tapping on the BPM readout here at the top, and you can tap a tempo if you like using the tap tempo button, or you can use these plus and minus buttons here to manually move the tempo up or down. So I'm going to move it down by pressing and holding to, let's say, 100 BPM. You don't have to stick to whole values, but it's often a good idea. You can change the time signature here if you like. Again, a lot of you will probably be working in 4-4, although you can change that to something more strange if you like. And there's an interesting little recording mode section here down at the bottom, which is also worth knowing about. If I activate the in and out sections, that means that recording will start as soon as the playhead passes over the left marker, which is this one here. And it will stop recording as soon as it passes the right marker, which is that one there. I'm going to turn that off for now. The count option is useful because it gives you a countdown with the metronome before you start recording. Another option is called roll, and what that does is it basically plays back a few bars of the music without starting the playhead. So it kind of gives you a run up, gives you a, a heads up so that you can get ready to play and record, having heard a bit of the music before it's actually started recording. If I just come out of this by tapping again, I can move the playhead anywhere on the timeline by just dragging it here with my finger. I can also move the left and right locators again by dragging them. Now you'll notice that these are snapping at the moment and that's really important because you often will want to snap to bar markers or certain divisions of a bar marker because it makes it far easier to keep things in time. You'll see that if I tap on this little grid icon here, this determines how snapping is working. So I can have it snapping to bars, in which case when I drag it will snap to a bar, or I can change that. I might say I want it to snap to every quarter beat. If I do that, it will then allow me to snap to quarter beat. You can turn snapping off if you like, and then you get completely free reign. That is probably only a good idea if you know why you're doing it, because otherwise you're going to find your loops and your timing can be uh, pushed out a little bit. So I'm going to switch that back to bars and snap it back to a bar. The metronome, of course, you will be familiar with, basically just gives me a click track. So if I just play back, there's my metronome. And of course, if I was to go back into here, I can do things like I can give myself a count in. So I could move the playhead back to here. But when I'm ready to record, I could say I want to count. There's my count two bars, and then recording. Of course, it knows I haven't input any data, so it hasn't recorded anything. So next, let's have a look at creating a beat to start our project.